Hey everybody, Tom Lydon reporting live from Ann Arbor. A lot to get into, just a little amount of time, so let's get right to it. The main issue here in Michigan over the last few days has been communication. So I spoke with Athletic Director Dave Brandon about one of the ways that communication on the sidelines might be a little better. You being his boss and understanding that your head coach wearing a headset might have facilitated him knowing that his quarterback was in danger. No. Why wouldn't you move forward and demand that he wear that headset? Absolutely not true. That's absolutely not true. The things that are being discussed by coaches on that headset had nothing to do with the situation. First of all, I'm not going to tell a coach whether to wear a headset or whether not to wear a headset. That's a coaching decision. I've asked Brady why he chooses not to wear a headset and, and he gives me a very plausible response. He has a young man that's one step behind him the whole game that has his headset. He's listening and monitoring everything that's being said. If Brady has a question, he asks. If he wants to get on the headset, he grabs it and talks to whoever he wants to talk to. All right, so whose job is it going to be then to make sure that Brady knows in the most timely of fashions if a player shouldn't be going back in the game? Because there yeah. were three minutes that passed from when he got hit until when he was it's reinserted. A, it's not a coach's job. And I, and I did want to add that in the year, Brady's first year, when we were 11 and 2, nobody mentioned anything to me about his headset practices. Interesting. Nobody cared. We will have much more with David Brandon coming up on future editions of Action News here on Channel 7. Let's get you caught up.